All right, so this is going to be a walkthrough of how I recreated Fuck I'm Lonely by Lauf. I'm going to play the original song first as pitched down by two semitones, and then I'll AB the two tracks back and forth. So here's the original. I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely as fuck. Come on me, come on me, come on me. It's been and then now I'm going to A and B the two tracks. You can keep watch of the solo cue here as they turn it on and off. I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely past work. Come on me, come on me, come on me. It's been me, myself, and why did you go, did you go? Perfect, so I'm just going to go through um, my remake, track by track. And the first thing that I started with was the uh, the clap loop that you can uh, notably hear in the beginning. So I'm going to play Lau's uh, version of that clap loop. And this is what I ended up recreating. Not as close as I wanted, but um, essentially I have two different tracks here. Um, one being just a four by four hand clap that sounds like this. And then a snap loop that sounds like this. And together, sounds like this. So on that hap loop, um, the clap loop, sorry, what I ended up doing was, I think I just had um, two samples, one being a little higher pitched, the second one um, being a little lower pitched. And so the first clap being, I think the normal pitch and the second clap being about like five semitones down. So that way it has that up down feeling. And then for the snap loop, what I ended up doing, um, I ended up condensing um, the track itself, but originally I just had one sample of a snap and I filled in the positions um, similar to what Lauv had. And then as you see on this track, I tried to match the velocities of each sample by moving down the volume tab in the editor. So whether the snap was hitting quieter or louder, I tried to match uh, in a sense to give it that feeling. Um, and then lastly, I added a swing groove to the, to the claps to kind of give it a little bit more movement. Um, and then the group itself is running through an amplifier with a clean setting, only about 4% dryness, um, and then that's going through a cabinet and kind of um, putting it in one smaller space, cutting out some of the lows here and some of the highs as well. And so I can turn these off. This is what it sounds like. And then with these effects, Just kind of tightens it up a little bit. Um, so that actually took me a lot longer than I expected to to achieve that. Um, and the only other section here is another clap that he adds about in the pre-chorus and chorus section, which sounds like this. And that's just a, a bigger clap to take up space. But I put those all into one group. Um, and then we go on to the the mallet um, synth effect. And it sounds like this. So essentially, you have three layers here. Um, the first layer being uh, this bell's glass layer, which I think is just a preset in Ableton but it's essentially on the mallet section um, 
It's a pretty low volume and just one resonator. And that sounds like this. But really any, any sort of mallet would work. You could even sample one. Um, I know Contact has playlists and I'm sure um, any doll you'd be using would have it as well. Um, then I wanted to layer, add some more layers to it to give it a little bit more size. And so I have uh, the second sample here. Which is really more noise than anything. It's another um, instrument within Ableton and I just messed with the settings a little bit. But those two together sound like this. And that track eight just kind of gives it a little bit more uh, variant while it's playing. And then I just wanted something consistent throughout the track. So I added a, it's a sine wave. I don't even think I, I, I did anything. I maybe put the release down a little bit to 967 milliseconds, but it sounds like this. together perfect so the next part i think here is just some fills that i heard in the original so we can listen back to the original So what I did here, I don't even, I didn't have to add these, um, this vocal fill in the drop. Um, he had it in the verse, I think, but um, essentially it's just a vocal chant, and then on this fill we just have a snare. And only processing here I did was a high pass filter. You cut out some of those lows. And now the bass, this is what I have. And then Lauv has his sub bass. <laughs> So it's pretty a beefy 808. Um, essentially what I did is I threw in a basic sub sign. This is an Ableton preset, but essentially um, it's just a sine wave with a little bit of saturation on it. And then in terms of effects, I added a virtual mix rack. Um, and this is just a warm uh, present bass. It's just some compression and adding a little bit of, of thickness to that. And then I added a little bit more overdrive distortion. You can use any plugin. This is uh, where I like to use KHS. But uh, and lastly, on that chain, I just added a high shelf, bringing out any any sort of highs to make it a little bit more audible uh, in the track as a whole. So if I turn these effects off, this is what it sounds like. Plain. That just makes it a little bit more beefier. So all together. Now we have the kick. Um, I didn't add any special effects here. It's just a sample pack from Lack City, and it sounds like this. The only thing differently I did do was I um, messed with the velocity a little bit on some of the uh, 808 hits. 
just give it a little softer as it transitions. I'm lonely, lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely as now we have the snares. Um, nothing special here. Uh, just a snare from a cymatic sample pack um, with a high pass filter on it. And then this is a tam that comes in, a tambourine sample, and I just have it uh, four on the floor as well. And this is just the Looks like I forgot one part. It's just the um the vocal uh loop that he has going throughout. You can listen to it in the original. I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely. I didn't have those exact samples, so I just uh, searched for something in the same key, and this is what I found. And the effects on that, I have little Ultra Boy um, formatting it up by about 5 and bringing the dry wet to about 40% with some drive, some reverb. Oops. And then a high pass filter, cut out any of the lows, um, with some compression as well, making sure that it's uh, all level. So essentially, I put two um, different vocal samples here. So that's it, only 21 tracks. Um, in terms of the master, everything's running through a glue compressor with a uh, these attack and release settings. A little bit of makeup gain, and it's also soft clipping. Uh, and that is running through the FGX. Uh, I'm not using the compressor on these settings. I'm just putting it through the, the transient settings. Um, that just helps bring out the uh, hats, kicks, and snares, uh, and any other uh, transient heavy uh, instruments. And then that is all running through Ozone. Um, I'm running through an equalizer. I'm just boosting some of the highs a little bit. Um, I have a dynamic uh, compression here. This is just kind of leveling, making sure everything's at, um, nothing's going over the level, um, causing any distortion. So this is what it's actually doing. I can show you. I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely past That's just to control the track and maybe help me get a little bit more headroom so I can um, add some more makeup gain. Uh, I have some saturation, multiband saturation, uh, through four different bands, and I'm just using tape, a tape saturator here with a very, very um, low amount if a positive gradient. And finally, I'm just running it through a limiter. Um, should be on IRC4, actually. But... Um, maybe you can even add a little bit more transient emphasis here and it's about hovering about 10 luffs so we can listen to what it's doing and the original is not going through the master at all so i just have it um externally going out um so i can a b the master settings here I'm lonely. I'm lonely. And that's it. I kind of rushed through this one. I could probably do a little bit more mixing to clean it up, but uh, that was it.